Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Steve here, and today we've got a collection of clips ranging from cryptid sightings to glitches in our matrix that may just leave you shocked, yet craving more. Ready? Well, let's jump in. A strange wave anomaly was detected off the coast of Africa, causing a global stir on April the 10th, 2024. The anomaly was first detected by Ventusky, a meteorological app developed by the Czech company Emidio. The app uses animated arcs to differentiate between wind waves and swells, giving users real-time insights into weather phenomena. The anomaly consisted of a cluster of waves that were over 80 feet high and spanned 2,000 miles, which is larger than the state of Texas. It appeared and lasted for around 24 hours before disappearing. This caught the attention of many people on social media platforms, including X, formerly Twitter, and YouTube. MRMBB333, a prominent figure in the exploration of unexplained phenomena, analyzed the anomaly in a YouTube video using Zoom Earth satellite maps to measure its dimensions. The anomaly's vast scale, larger than entire African nations and twice the size of Texas, inspired humorous and speculative responses from viewers. Many people speculated that such a large formation could only have been created by a sub-aquatic entity and dubbed it an Unidentified Submersible Object, or USO, similar to your UFO but beneath the waves. Others imagined a huge sea creature like the fictional Cthulhu or an alien vessel lurking under the water. However, Newsweek's investigations revealed a more mundane explanation attributing the anomaly to a model error. Despite the disappointment from those hoping for a more exciting explanation, the event remains a fascinating meteorological phenomenon that captured the attention of millions around the world. But what do you think? Was it just an error, as they say, or are they hiding something? <laughs> Next, we have this footage from Korea that was captured on the 8th of April 2024. This was during the eclipse that was not readily visible from Seoul, Korea. In this footage, a mysterious object zooms across the sky, leaving viewers astonished. The video, captured by a golfer, shows a dark, unidentified object appearing suddenly and then disappearing as quickly as it did. The object's remarkable speed and agility surpass typical aircraft or drones, which is very curious. The footage caught the attention of the news, which dubbed it a UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. Despite attempts to analyze and enhance the footage, the object remains elusive, appearing as a blur due to its rapid movement. Some have naturally assumed it's a spacecraft taking advantage of the eclipse, while others think it might be something else entirely. Regardless, no one truly knows what's happening, and with no concrete evidence or definitive explanations, the true nature of this UAP remains unknown. We have reason to, however, believe that that's not the first time whatever it was has zoomed through the atmosphere. Look behind you. Insane. Whoa, did you see that just shoot across? Did anyone else see that? This next clip is proof of that. I mean, how much of a coincidence can it really be when a similar phenomenon was experienced in another part of the world not too long after it had been seen in Korea? A man was filming the stunning coastal scenery when he witnessed the extraordinary event. Unlike Korea, however, there appeared to be lightning in the sky. While many were distracted by it, a bright object suddenly appeared and streaked across the sky with immense speed almost without being seen. If the man behind the camera was not filming, it may have been missed. It's not clear why this was bright and the Korean one was dark. To add to the mystery, the exact location of the sighting is not known. Comments flooded in on the post from intrigued viewers with their theories about the object. Some suggested it could be the Air Force, but upon closer inspection, it didn't seem to be a human-made object. 
I mean, there was not much to inspect, but when did we start traveling at light speeds with ships made up of light? Exactly. Another theory was that it was a missile, but missiles tend to have a visible trail of fire behind them, whereas this object was all bright like a luminous entity or something else entirely. Also, I don't think missiles affect the atmosphere like this one did. The possibilities of what this object could be are endless. Many still hold on to the fact that it could be something of extraterrestrial origin, while others think oh, that's just loony. They don't see anything beyond a weather phenomenon here. But what about you? What do you see? I wish I could tell you those were the only strange things happening in our sky, but it gets stranger. Our next clip was captured in Ukraine, and it has left many people scratching their heads. In the video, a whitish-looking sheet-like object can be seen hovering in the sky with its top part bent forward. The atmosphere in the video appears to be quite foggy, which adds to the mysterious nature of the sighting. At first sight, many assume that the strange things going on in the sky might be some sort of weather anomaly or unusual cloud formation. For those on the ground, that would have made sense, but those on the higher planes or buildings like the one recording saw what was really happening. They saw what you see on your screen. Spooked, they uploaded it and then sent some of the paranormal communities into a frenzy. Many had differing views on what could be going on. Some viewers speculated that the object was a blue beam projection, while others suggested that it was simply a mark on a glass window from which the footage was recorded. Interestingly, one viewer even used the alien emoji, implying that they thought the object was of extraterrestrial origin. Given the unusual appearance of the object and the varied opinions surrounding it, it's difficult to say with certainty what the footage shows. It would, however, be unwise to downplay any of the comments, since they are basically possible until proven otherwise. Unless, of course, the clip is fake, but that too has to be proven. Things get even weirder with this next clip taken in Asia. We're not told where exactly, but a strange fleet of lights was seen in the night sky. The lights were arranged in a unique formation and moved in synchronization. Usually, these formations are mostly seen with migrating birds, but it's highly unlikely that this was the case here. Birds don't emit any light, which would make it difficult for them to create a spectacular display in the dark. Despite this, many in the comments section believed that they had to be birds, logically speaking. That's very unlikely, unless there are some bioluminescent birds out there that glow in the dark. Oddly enough, many held on to the idea. There were some, however, who believed that the whole thing was simply blue beam tech being tested by our government. If you've followed the channel for a while, we've mentioned it several times. Although there's no definitive proof of its existence, many in the paranormal community believe that there's a powerful machine out there that's capable of creating illusions in the atmosphere. This, they believe, belongs to the government for the purposes of misinformation and control. The hologram projections from this machine are allegedly so powerful and incredibly realistic and can take on any form. They can be used to create an illusion of something that's not there. This could be very convincing. Despite the skepticism surrounding the product, the possibility of this being a product of blue beam technology cannot be ruled out. However, others believe that the display could be a result of drone activity. The question remains, though, why so many drones for a single display? Also, if it was a drone display, surely we would have found some information on it. But try as we may, we found nothing. Unless, of course, we're looking in the wrong places. Still on strange things in our sky, we've got this clip featuring a strange-looking cloud hovering in the sky a little too close to the ground compared to the rest of the clouds. Ma 
much weirder, this particular cloud was darker and had some peculiar object sticking out of it. Anyone who was observant would obviously realize that this was definitely a cloud with something in it, or something using a cloud as cover. Much like the last Avatar scene where Anne uses a cloud as camouflage to hide the gang in Appa, uh, I digressed. As humorous as that sounds, I was not the only one thinking about it. Many in the comments section thought so too. They said that the cloud was camouflage, hiding something that was cloaked behind aerogel. For those unfamiliar with it, aerogel is a unique material that's known for its extremely low density and highly porous structure. It's sometimes referred to as frozen smoke or solid air because of its translucent appearance and lightweight nature. In essence, it can look like this strange cloud. The substance is, however, quite rare, which will make having this amount quite strange. This has led to speculations that this could belong to one of two groups, the government or aliens. I know it sounds like a bit of a stretch, but do you have any other possible explanation for this? If you do, please share in the comments section. We love to read your hypothesis. If you followed our channel judiciously in the last week or so, then you would be familiar with our recent discussions on extraterrestrial life and the possibility of their existence. While many are quick to dismiss the idea, the vastness of the universe and all that's within it makes it possible for life to exist elsewhere other than ours. I recently came across this footage captured in China on April the 9th, 2024, which I found quite intriguing. In the clip, there is a peculiar circular shape in the sky with luminous edges. The object appears to be hovering in the air like a desk. While it's true that some clouds, such as lenticular clouds, can look unique, this particular one seems to be more than just a cloud formation. It has a distinct shape that looks eerily similar to a UFO. There are a number of individuals in the comments section who noticed this as well and were convinced we're dealing with a UFO whose camouflage was not working properly. Looking at it, I can see why they think that. Not only does it have an unconventional shape, it's also ginormous. This makes it fit into our whole alien spaceship category. While many were convinced we were looking at a ship, there was another group of individuals who were very convinced that this had to be a portal. While the portal hypothesis isn't impossible, the individual who posted the footage never saw anything come out of or go inside. The skies have been home to many unusual incidents over the years, and it's not uncommon for people to speculate about what they see. However, with more and more sightings being documented, it's clear that there's something strange happening up there. Wouldn't you agree? Throughout history, dinosaurs have remained a topic of fascination for humanity. Even today, their existence and extinction continues to captivate our imagination. To unlock the mystery surrounding these magnificent creatures, archaeologists have studied cave paintings dating back several centuries. This leads us to a cave located in Borneo's East Kalimantan province. Here, scientists have found the oldest figurative painting in the world. The painting is of wild cattle and is estimated to be around 40,000 years old. The painting is part of a larger piano with other animal paintings, stencils, and designs and was made using iron oxide pigment. The cave Lubang Jiriji Sala has thousands of rock art images providing insight into the ancient history of our planet and the creatures that used to walk the earth. They aren't just rough sketches hastily thrown together. Oh no, these are intricate depictions painstakingly crafted using iron oxide pigment, with every scale and contour lovingly rendered for all to behold. Discoveries like this help researchers learn even more about our past. While those ones are easier to understand, there are also paintings like these that have scientists scratching their heads. The one who posted it refused to tell us where it's from, but a quick look at these images and you can tell they're depicting dinosaurs. But how? Aren't dinosaurs supposed to have died off millions of years ago? How is it our distant ancestors had images of them? 
This naturally led to a lot of debate on the paranormal platforms. Some thought this was proof that the dinosaurs still walk amongst us. Some people thought this was proof of the Hollow Earth theory, which has been visualized at modern cinema using the recent King Kong and Godzilla movie. As the debate raged on, one member of the paranormal community made a profound statement. He stated that our ancestors could have found their remains in much better shape than we have found today, which is why they could have such vivid drawings of them. When you think about it, well, that's actually logical. Is that the case, though? Until research in this area advances, we will never know for sure. But what do you think? Anyone who subscribed to this channel knows we love our big guy. In fact, there are lots of clips on this channel featuring the big guy. There are some that were very convincing and some we flat out thought had to be false. We thought we'd seen it all until this clip was sent to us. Is that, oh my gosh, please tell me you're getting this. Are you getting this? Yeah, yeah, I'm videotaping it. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Yes, that's a relatively short clip by our Bigfoot standards, but did you guys notice something? The big guy was not walking or moving slowly and steadily like we're used to. Even the calculated walk was not seen. The big guy appears to be somewhat leaping, and that's a first for us. In fact, we weren't the only ones who thought so. We did some digging around and it turns out that this was filmed in 2015. The reason it looks blurry is because it has been zoomed in several times over and brightened to reveal the Bigfoot, which was quite a distance from the one who took the clip. Apparently, there was a lot of skepticism on the legitimacy of the clip once it hit the internet, since many people believe Bigfoots don't move that fast. They even nicknamed the creature the Leaping Yeti. Although they didn't think it was a Bigfoot, they agreed that the creature was real. Even though it's not been seen since, it remains one of the most intriguing clips among the Russian paranormal and cryptid community. While we're used to a certain definition of Bigfoot, do you think it's possible that there's a creature out there the size of Bigfoot that moves like that? We can't confirm or dismiss it without further evidence, but you can at least share your thoughts, and we'll be glad to hear them. What is that? Oh my gosh, please tell me you're getting this. Are you getting this? Yeah. In 2011, the Ocean X team, a Swedish treasure hunting team, discovered this mysterious object on the seabed of the Baltic Sea. This object was called the Baltic Sea Anomaly. Naturally, this incident gained attention at the time. Initial sonar images of the anomaly revealed a large circular object about 60 meters in diameter, with features that appeared to be of artificial origin. Further investigation using underwater cameras and diving expeditions revealed additional details, including strange stone formations and linear tracks that resemble drag marks. This anomaly was never figured out, so led to a lot of debate. Some suggested that it could be a sunken ship, a natural rock formation, or even extraterrestrial in nature. Despite extensive study, scientists have been unable to determine the exact nature and origin of the Baltic Sea anomaly. Unlike the Baltic Sea Anomaly, a groundbreaking discovery in space exploration has left the scientific community excited and thrilled because it's been confirmed to be of extraterrestrial origin. Harvard physicist Professor A.V. Loeb and his team claim to have found material from outside our solar system for the first time. This remarkable achievement came from the interstellar expedition of June 2023, where metallic fragments were retrieved from the Pacific Ocean near Papua New Guinea. These metallic spheres, which were recovered from the ocean floor, have compositions unlike any known natural or man-made alloys. According to experts, these fragments may have come from space, which could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. This discovery is a significant milestone in the fields of space exploration and opens up new possibilities for research and exploration. It provides exciting insights into the mysteries of space and the potential existence of extraterrestrial objects. The scientific community is optimistic that this discovery will lead to further exploration and research into the unknown aspects of our universe. The odd thing about the discovery is the fact that the professor suspects or thinks that whatever was discovered could be technological. 
which hints at intelligent life elsewhere in our universe. He's not 100% sure though, but he states that it's tougher than space rocks. Many in the scientific community are skeptical about the discovery, but no professor will put their reputation and pedigree on the line if they didn't think there was something there. Either way, it looks like we may have to wait for further investigations to come to a conclusion on this one. What does your gut tell you, though? Still on UFOs discovered in the ocean, take a look at this one. This discovery was made by a team of explorers exploring the ocean depths. Now, when you look at it, it looks like a rusty saucer that's been left in the ocean for years, if not millennia. Upon closer inspection, the explorers noticed that it had intricate designs etched all over its surface. Although there is limited information available about this saucer, its discovery provides concrete evidence that there is some form of technology out there that does not belong to humans. If the footage is to be believed, then the professor in the previous clip might just have been right. Given the age we live in, though, the possibility of computer manipulation and CGI cannot be ruled out, even though the saucer appears to be eerily real. Many in the paranormal community did share their thoughts on the discovery. A number of them were skeptical. One person thought it was nothing more than a large seashell, but a closer look will show it's definitely not. Some even made fun of those who posted the clip. Despite the skepticism, however, some thought it might be real, just not what we're making it out to be, say a submerged submarine. However, I doubt any of the military submarines look anything like this. Some also stated it could be a UFO since they don't rust. Despite the skepticism, many held onto the belief it was a UFO. Some even called it a USO, that is, an identified submersible object. Having seen it yourself, share your personal observations. This clip comes from Sequoia Park, California. It shows another strange sky phenomenon. Is it a cross? Heck no, it's not a cross. What is that? Like a. Let me see it. Dude, it looks like a dude in a suit. It looks like Iron Man. At first glance, it appears to be some kind of glowing figure floating in the air. The entity seems to have a head, arms, and legs, and it's surrounded by a distinct and noticeable glow. The people behind the camera who filmed the video were convinced that they'd witnessed a superhuman or an alien. However, when the video was posted online, some commenters suggested that it might be a hologram, and the term blue beam projection was mentioned once again. It's difficult to determine what exactly is happening in the video and whether it's real or a hoax. The possibility of a hologram or a government conspiracy cannot be ruled out, but as always, there's little evidence to suggest that's the case. The only thing we can do now is speculate and hypothesize on what this might be. You have seen the clip. What's your hypothesis? Jonathan, what in the world? The possibility of life beyond Earth has always been an intriguing topic for many people. For years, scientists have used state-of-the-art equipment to search for signs of extraterrestrial life. Despite their efforts, there has been no definite proof that life forms exist, at least not one that has been made public yet. Recently, this video emerged and it sparked a new wave of interest in the possibility of life beyond Earth. The footage shows several crafts that appear to be floating above the moon's surface. These crafts have unique shapes and seem to be moving in the same direction. Now that's curious. What is the purpose of these crafts? Are they manned or unmanned? What kind of technology do they use? One of the commenters on the original post shared an interesting tale. He states that his father, who'd never believed in aliens, saw a ship through a telescope and was shocked. After what he saw, his dad became a believer. Now, there's no way of verifying this particular story, but there have been similar stories coming from all over the globe. Take a look at some of these comments. All these comments have to mean something, right? 
This video footage could be the proof that we have been looking for all along. It could be the evidence that definitely proves the existence of alien life beyond our planet. Despite the evidence, many believe it has to be false. They rationalize saying that what we are seeing was nothing more than ticks on a dirty lens. Some even suggested that they were ants. You've seen the clip and heard both sides, so what do you think is much closer to the truth? Share your thoughts in the comment section. As we ponder the possibility of alien life, let's explore the supernatural realm. Ghosts, the spirits of departed humans, have been thought to be part of human existence for centuries, often hiding from our sight but occasionally revealing themselves. They're said to be the remnants of those who have not yet found peace and continue to linger around the living realm. Various pieces of evidence have been presented to support their existence, such as footage of dark apparitions crossing roads and appearing in surveillance camera feeding dogs. These entities resemble humans in many ways, but their intangibility distinguishes them from the living. They can appear and disappear at will, and can pass through solid objects such as walls or cars without any resistance. While they are believed to be humans who have passed on, what if there is more to these entities than we currently understand? What if they are not just remnants of the departed souls, but rather something else entirely? There have been theories that suggest that ghosts could be a manifestation of energy or a projection of our consciousness. Recently, this video was circulating on social media, and it shows strange glowing creatures floating in the sky with a luminous trail behind them. Some people are wondering if these creatures are angels, while others are skeptical and suggest that the video may be a clever hoax created using CGI. Angels are celestial beings that have been part of various religious and mythological traditions for centuries. They are often depicted as messengers or intermediaries between the divine realm and humanity tasked with guiding and protecting people on their spiritual journeys. In the Christian faith, angels are believed to be God's messengers, while in the Islamic faith, angels are considered to be created from light and serve as intermediaries between Allah and humanity. The concept of angels is prevalent in many cultures worldwide, including Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Zoroastrianism, and others. Each culture has its own beliefs and interpretations of angels, such as the number of angels that exist or their specific roles in the divine hierarchy. What do you think of them, especially those in the clip? While flying, a pilot captured this video of an unusual flying object. The object had a saucer-like shape and was rotating while moving in the sky. What made it even more intriguing was the inscription on it, Truff. At first, the pilot thought it said Trump, but upon closer inspection, it was clear that it was Truff. Curiosity peaked, the pilot decided to research the word Truff and found out that it was a branch of hot sauce. The connection between hot sauce and UFOs may seem absurd, but it could be that extraterrestrial beings like spicy food. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but think about it. What's not to love about hot sauce? Alternatively, it could be an entirely different explanation altogether. I mean, what are the odds that aliens speak and write English? Perhaps it's some markings in their language that we interpreted as ours. It's also possible that the video was a well-made CGI, although it's hard to be sure without further investigation. Regardless of the explanation, this sighting has left the pilot and the wider community wondering about the mysteries of the universe and the possibility of life beyond our planet. Above the clouds, an interesting object was captured that left many wondering what it could be. The object has a unique shape with a horizontal top and a vertical part that resembles a hammer, starting from the middle downwards. It floated above the clouds for some time, casting a shadow on the clouds below. As it slowly descended into the clouds, it gradually vanished from view. 
The mysterious object left many wondering about its original purpose. Some believe it was a UFO, while others think it may have been a weather balloon or some other type of experimental aircraft. More outlandish theories propose that it was an interdimensional being or even a top secret military craft. What do you think it is? During a recent excursion in Puerto Rico, a group of tourists visited the Isabella River. As they were sailing on the boat, Isabella, one of the tourists, noticed something unusual on the water's surface. She quickly pulled out her camera and started filming. Upon closer inspection, she saw a clear outline of a human-like creature under the water. The creature was moving at an exceptionally fast speed, much faster than any human could swim and chased after their boat. The group was amazed and couldn't believe what they were seeing. They watched the creature for a while and it stayed under the water for a considerable amount of time. It was evident that the creature was not human given the way it moved and the amount of time it spent under the water. The group couldn't help but share this, and it's very obvious what we are looking at here. It has to be a mermaid, siren, or some other type of mythical humanoid. There's no logical explanation for what this is. At least, that's what a section of the community thinks. What about you? What do you think? The recent eclipse that occurred on April the 8th, 2024 in the US has been a topic of discussion among many people. However, new footage has emerged that has raised some questions and theories about the authenticity of the event. In the footage, an individual can be seen using paper eyeglasses to observe the sky and an eclipse appears to be taking place. However, the footage takes a strange turn when the individual takes off the glasses and moves the camera to show what's happening on the other side of the sky. And guess what? There's no eclipse on the other side. It's just a blue sky with the moon. You and I know that's not possible. Naturally, this has led to several questions being asked, such as how is it possible for an eclipse to appear on one side of the sky but not on the other side? This has led to various theories that the government may be involved in faking natural occurrences. Some even posted comments like this. Some even thought we were looking at a different planet altogether. The government isn't the only one being questioned, though. The authenticity of the footage is also being questioned. A number of individuals actually suspect that the clip has been edited. They even called the edit a poor one that failed to convince. Now, I understand their sentiments. We've never heard of a half-night, half-day sky. The video also does a poor job of convincing us that it's real. But perhaps that's just me subconsciously taking a side in all this. You've seen the clip. What do you also think? Tell us in the comment section. During the night, someone noticed something unusual in the sky. It wasn't a bird or a UFO. It looked like a human, a woman to be precise. The entity had long hair and was floating in the sky with arms by its side and feet closed. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, it doesn't look like a performance. There was no one around to manipulate the being, nor were there any visible strings or signs of anything, just the solitary figure hovering in the night sky. In the world of folklore and superstition, murmurs about witches traversing the night sky surfaced as a plausible explanation. The first thought that crossed people's minds was a witch. They thought that she was probably heading off for her nightly tasks, whatever those might be. What do you also think? Imagine being on a plane and looking out your window to see this. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely not remaining calm after seeing this. But then again, what exactly are we looking at? Julius, Aaron and myself got to work on this as soon as we received it and we all came to one conclusion, UFO. I mean, there's no other logical explanation for this, is there? Strange crafts in the sky with an unnatural formation, it definitely has to be aliens. But that only leaves us with questions. Why are there so many of them? How did they get there? What's their plan and purpose? And are we even safe after all? 
I don't know about you, but this worries me. It worries me a lot. But then again, what do you guys think? In this footage, we can see a pile of leaves around a hollow spot in the middle of the woods. Tell me, what do you see lurking in the shadows among the leaves? I've got my money on a face, but hey, you know what your creative minds will come up with. Alright folks, time to take a breather from all this brain teaser. Ever heard of the word pareidolia? It's a quirky phenomenon where our brains spot familiar patterns in completely unrelated things, like seeing a smiley face in a slice of toast or a dragon in the clouds. I believe you experienced such when you checked out the footage. The uploader of the footage suspects that there's a Bigfoot in there, but I have a question. Based on your own experience trying to identify whatever is in the footage and your newly found knowledge of the phenomenon, what do you think is really happening in there? Share your thoughts with me in the comment section. In this clip, we have a group of friends out in the woods having fun and recording the whole thing. They seem to have set up a makeshift basketball court in the woods surrounded by their parked cars. If you pay attention to the audio, you'll realize that beyond their laughter, there's a shrill sound in the background. It's almost as if there's some weird or wild creature out there. The person behind the camera points this out and begins walking toward the woods. At that moment, he spots a creature resembling an ape casually walking on its two feet moving through the woods. As expected, it startled both him and his friends. I mean, it's not every day you see a giant of a beast casually walking through the woods. The person filming attempts to get closer for a clearer look, but his friends discourage him from doing so. I see it back there. I'm I do too. Just walking. What could they have run into? You don't need to be an expert in the paranormal to know that the creature is most definitely Bigfoot. But one question looms, is that the real deal, or are we looking at someone in a costume? Well, I think I'll let you decide on this one. There have been talks of scientific attempts to open portals to other dimensions. In this clip, a cloud shaped like a large donut is seen resembling a portal. Naturally, this has resurrected the subject on paranormal platforms. Much of this portal discussion is associated with the CERN Collider, where rumors suggest that there have been attempts to open such gateways. The Mandela Effect has also been linked to the CERN machine. Rumors and testimonies suggest that we learned of this technology in the Montauk Tunnels. Montauk Tunnels likely refer to the Montauk Project, a series of alleged secret U.S. government projects. These claims are, however, largely considered to be conspiracy theories and they lack substantial evidence. Back to the clip, what do you think could be happening here? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Billionaires are prepping luxury doomsday bunkers with moats that set on fire. Lately, there's been a lot of news about billionaires worldwide investing in building underground bunkers. Reports indicate that some have already started constructing these bunkers equipped with advanced facilities. These underground hideouts are rumored to have amenities such as parking for yachts and submarines, along with high-tech security systems that can withstand external attacks. Some think that they're preparing for World War II, while many others are wondering if something significant is happening behind the scenes. What do you think? Well, folks, if you thought Danny's video was a little spooky, wait till you see this one. This cat owner was just minding his own business and taking cute snapshot of his furry friend. Sounds like a harmless and fun activity, right? But when he later checked the photo, things took a creepy turn. Right there in the background, amidst the dark woods, you can spot a pair of glowing eyes. Now, we all know nocturnal animals have eyes that reflect light, especially at night. But these eyes have that extra dash of eeriness, don't they? It's like they're sending chills down your spine. Or am I the only one feeling those chills? 
Either way, you have to wonder what could those eyes belong to. Some might say it's just a regular nocturnal critter, but there's always that lingering possibility, isn't there? That possibility that it might be something straight out of a campfire ghost story, like the infamous Dogman. Perhaps my imagination is running wild again, but what do you folks think? Regular animal or something more mysterious? Let's hear from you. Next, we have another chilling capture that unveils an otherworldly creature that defies comprehension. Think I'm exaggerating? Well, take a look. This still image was captured on a trail camera situated deep within a mysterious forest, one akin to the Dark Forest Harry Potter series. It reveals a massive, deformed creature with four legs and a tail. Taking a second look, you'd realize that the creature appears to have two heads. One faces the camera with its mouth agape, while the other gazes in a different direction. As if all these were not weird enough, the creature is also very muscular with its physique resembling that of a bodybuilder. Either way, we have many questions about this creature and its origin. Is it the result of an experiment gone wrong? Is it an otherworldly creature materializing in our plane? Is it an AI generation meant to throw us off? We simply can't put our finger on it. What do you think it is? In the sunny state of California, a fast food revolution is underway, and it's not just about the flavor of the burgers. A pioneering fast food joint has embraced the future, going fully AI in its kitchen operations. The manager said that finding humans willing to tackle the dangerous task of flipping French fries has become a challenge of its own. Step inside and you'll witness a futuristic spectacle where culinary bots dance around the kitchen, seamlessly flipping burgers and orchestrating a symphony of sizzling fries. It's a dazzling display of technological prowess, but what does this mean for humans? I don't know about you, but that's another human job taken over by AI. In Charlotte, North Carolina, a man captured this peculiar sight in the sky, a fiery object with a trail of smoke falling. Uncertain whether it was a plane on fire or something falling from space, he posted it online where viewers offered various speculations. Some suggested it could be a plane that caught fire mid-flight, but others disagreed. Some also suggested that it might be an unidentified aerial phenomenon shot down. The fact that this wasn't covered by any news agency made the whole thing even more mysterious than it ought to be. Adding to the mystery, the object didn't seem to be landing or crashing, instead, it continued to move and navigate through the sky. That's definitely not how falling objects behave, right? What are your thoughts on this unexplained phenomenon? What? Amidst a field teeming with overgrown produce, we have a capture that's bound to tickle your imagination. Imagine setting up your trail cam footage and coming across this image. There isn't much to dissect, just a multitude of plants and a black furred creature standing beside a tall plant. The creature's head sports a slightly elongated top, and its expression appears rather stern as if nothing humorous has crossed its path in its lifetime. This capture is impressive, but the creature's identity remains uncertain. Is it just an ordinary ape-like creature going about its day, or are we dealing with something more, perhaps a Bigfoot? It's hard to say, but my money is on it being a Bigfoot. What say you? Next, we have a capture that doesn't give away much of its surroundings except a tall figure right before the camera, revealing what might seem to be a cryptid or an alien. With a physique resembling that of a human, this creature sure does give me the creeps. Turquoise blue in color with glowing eyes and a chest area resembling cocoa in shape, it possesses long arms, fingers, and legs. 
Its nose and mouth resembled that of an anteater, with distinct lines showcasing its unique features, setting it apart from otherworldly creatures we've encountered. Notably, detailed bone structures protrude from various parts of its body, suggesting it may not have had a substantial meal for quite some time. What do you think this is? Are we staring at a possible Halloween custom-made costume, or should we be wary going out in the dead of night? If it's no Halloween costume, could this really be an alien? I can't say with certainty, but well, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. A group of people in Brazil had a puzzling experience while driving near a forest. They noticed what seemed like a fire and decided to stop and help put it out. Instead of a regular fire, however, they found a vertical humanoid-shaped entity emitting a bright glow. Strangely enough, there was no smoke and nothing around it seemed to be catching fire. The sight made them all feel uneasy and they hesitated to get any closer. That's with the exception of one person, of course. There's always that one person. This individual tried to approach it, but the rest of the group warned him to stay back. They were very scared and unsure of what could happen. Besides, they didn't know whether it was a dangerous entity or something else entirely. Having seen the footage, what do you think we could be dealing with? <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? Before you say no, watch this footage. Back in the 1990s, a UFO sighting in Varguina, Brazil, was accompanied by an alleged alien encounter. The military observed strange crafts in the sky that were eventually shot down. Upon reaching the crash site, they reportedly retrieved an alien and placed it in a box. The creature had huge red eyes and appeared lifeless on the ground. At the time of the incident, not much information was reported, and it seems the government made efforts to keep it under wraps. The authenticity of this event remains a subject of debate. Some believe it to be a genuine alien encounter, while others argue that it could be a hoax or a misinterpretation of conventional phenomena. The lack of substantial evidence and the secretive nature of the incident contributed to the mystery surrounding the Varguina UFO sighting. What do you think of it? In this video clip, we see a typical family moment at home with beautifully designed carpets of various colors. In the corner, just behind them, we spot a small and unusual creature. It's cute and black with hair resembling that of an ape or bear. The creature playfully moves before it's revealed to have a string or a thread attached to it. It's held by the speaker, and shortly after the playful movements, the man opens the door and steps outside to remove his shoes, with the creature closely following. All who've seen the creature believe it's a baby Bigfoot. Frankly, I can see it being one, but what about you? Do you see it? When you clicked this video, did you ever think you'd see a baby Bigfoot? Well, there you have it. But what at all will drive someone to tie this little one with a thread? Hmm, and why would you keep a baby Bigfoot? What would you do when it hits adolescence and starts to grow rapidly? What if its family comes searching? Are there Bigfoots in Ohio? If you thought, oh, no, then this next footage will truly prove you wrong. In this capture, we see a mysterious figure amidst a sprawling forest with black and white leaves, protruding branches, and visible grass. Though unclear what this may be at first glance, closer inspection leaves no doubt. This is none other than Bigfoot. It's huge, towering as tall as a tree, covered in thick black fur, and in its right hand, could it be? Bigfoot on the run with a baby? It seems like history may be repeating itself, a tale of a human baby raised among animals mirroring the story of Tarzan. 
Tarzan 2, perhaps. It's hard to say, but what do you think the probability of this happening is? Do you even see what I see at all? Let me know in the comments section. This woman took some snow and melted it into a glass cup. Then she took a magnet and placed it on the cup. Look at what happens. The dark substance in the water moves toward the magnet. Is this what's in our waters? People were taken aback by this demonstration, but one viewer had quite an interesting take on it. They wrote this. Dust particles contain bits of iron from all sorts of agricultural and industrial industries. These dust particles rise up into the clouds and then come down in the form of rain or snow. Since snow is frozen water, it will hold more of these dust particles. Thus, when it snows, if you grab a handful of it and melt it into a container, you'll find dirt, iron, microplastics and other elements. In the end, they also added that there might be whatever else the governments of the world put into the atmosphere to geoengineer our climate or potentially affect our health. What do you think? Hold on to your hat for this next clip, because it may be the creepiest and most mysterious encounter captured on a night security camp. This guy was chilling by the roadside when, out of the blue, an unseen force gave him a solid shove backwards. Now most people would be pretty startled, right? Well, this guy takes it up a notch. He gets all worked up, grabs a stone and starts pointing and threatening the air as if he's got a bone to pick with an invisible opponent. But here's the twist. If you scrutinize the footage, there's a momentary appearance of hazy white orbs right when the man experiences the push, vanishing almost as quickly as they materialize. What makes it strange is that the man's reaction has some folks wondering if he might be onto whatever invisible entity pulled off the stunt. So what could it be? Some people pointed out that this could be a djinn. A jinn, also known as a genie, is a supernatural creature in Islamic mythology and theology. According to Islamic folklore, jinn are believed to inhabit remote or desolate areas, and encounters with them can be both beneficial and dangerous. Some jinn are considered mischievous or malevolent, while others may be benevolent and helpful. In this case, it seems like the man encountered a rather mischievous one. We start today's episode with a weird and quite frankly disturbing trail cam capture. Wonder what I mean? Take a look at this. What do you think this is? I don't know about you, but this is giving me alien vibes. If you've ever watched the Predator movie series, you will understand. Whatever this is looks like it just landed from a spaceship and is ready to cause some trouble on the new planet it just landed on. It's clearly a humanoid and appears to have no clothes on. It's fit, slender, and maybe even muscular. Its body is reminiscent of something you will associate with an alien creature. Is it one, though? I'd like to believe so, but what do you think? Ah, sometimes it's the little things in life that make our day brighter, right? Take a look at this bear, which might not fit your description of your everyday hero, yet appears to know a thing or two about good manners. The bear was just minding its own bear business, strolling down a road when it suddenly spotted a traffic cone knocked down, and just waiting to be set right. Now, most of us would probably walk on by, but not our furry friend here. No, sir, this bear takes a moment out of its busy day to do a good deed, picking up that cone and putting it back where it belongs. It's like a lesson on politeness from the wild. While it's cute and beautiful to see, perhaps we ought to learn a thing or two from this bear. When something isn't right, and it's in your power to make it right, don't hesitate to do it. This video surfaced online showing a bizarre incident where an object resembling a cylinder fell from the sky and landed in a forest. The impact was accompanied by a resounding boom, followed by a fiery explosion.
Naturally, everyone was wondering what it could be. Some believe it's fake, whereas others believe it's very real. The skeptics believe it could be a result of skillful video editing, while others suggest it might be a part of a satellite that fell from space. Technically speaking, though, if it was a satellite that came from outside our atmosphere, it would burn off on re-entry. The only plausible explanation is that it fell from something flying within our atmosphere. A plane, maybe. At least, that's according to know-it-all Julius. What's your theory? Take a look at this footage. A woman comes home from grocery shopping and is about to wash her strawberries, but something rather unusual happens. As soon as she touches the strawberry, the tap starts flowing. Her tap uses sensors, so when you tap or touch the faucet, the water flows. However, in this case, when she taps the strawberry, which is in the sink, the water flows. So the question on everyone's mind, how in the world is this happening? Sensor thing. And here's some strawberries. Nothing happens when I touch the box, but when I touch a strawberry, Is it some quirky glitch in the matrix, or could there be a scientific explanation lurking beneath the surface? One possibility might be that the strawberries somehow triggered the sensor. It could be due to the conductivity of the fruit, or perhaps some kind of residual moisture on the woman's hands. Alternatively, it might be a coincidence or an unforeseen interaction between the strawberry and the sensor technology. Please don't come at me for this explanation. I came up with it without Julius, and I must say, I'm proud of myself. There's also the possibility that our fruits have been messed with, but that makes me sound like a conspiracy theorist. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this intriguing phenomenon? Please do share them in the comments section. Kelly Villars, a TikTok user with a taste for adventure, decided to dive into the intriguing world of the Randonautica app. This app, well known for sending users to random, often mysterious locations, promises to deliver unforgettable experiences. And for many, it lives up to that promise, leading them to strange and sometimes eerie places. In Kelly's case, a journey with Randonautica took an unexpected turn. She found herself at a location sitting in a car when something odd caught her attention. Two figures, seemingly men, were approaching her from behind. One wore a striking red shirt and the other donned white. But here is where it gets eerie. When she checked a car's rearview mirror, these individuals were nowhere to be seen. There was no sign of trickery or video editing. It was as real as it gets. So what's the deal here? Is it a paranormal encounter, a glitch in the matrix, or something else entirely? This image originates from a trail camera located deep in the woods. A creature can be seen from afar moving toward the camera. As we examine this picture closely, its imposing figure suggests it could be a dangerous creature of immense size. It's hard to deny its resemblance to the legendary Bigfoot with its substantial form and what seems to be a shaggy coat of fur. Yet, as with many cryptid encounters, the true identity of this being remains elusive and shrouded in uncertainty. Do you think this is really a Bigfoot or is there something more at play? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. I'm excavating. It's going down. Y'all know how I love real estate and I usually like to build and go up. We going underground now. Still on these bunkers, Rick Ross recently took to social media to announce that he's having a bunker built, joining a list of celebrities who have been constructing bunkers around the world. This trend of public figures investing in bunkers raises questions. Why the surge in the interest in bunkers? And what do they know that we don't? The fact that multiple celebrities are opting for bunker construction might evoke a sense of doomsday prepping. As the trend continues, it's unclear if these preparations are motivated by specific imminent threats or if it's simply a matter of personal preference for increased security and seclusion. What do you think? I got a water maker. We got our canned goods. 
So if you thinking the brothers ain't ready, we ready. A man was knee deep in construction work on the mountains, diligently breaking and clearing the terrain when he began to feel rather uneasy. Suddenly, he glances up and spots something on a distant peak. Behold, the silhouette of a colossal creature covered from head to toe in what appeared to be thick fur. He was not one for superstitions, but he wondered, could this be the legendary Bigfoot towering and observing as a human transforms its mountainous abode? He doesn't know, but that's exactly what he felt was happening. If the footage is to be believed, it does look like the big guy doesn't like it one bit. What do you think? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. In the realm of unexplained phenomena, this security camera footage from a town in India has certainly left us all with a perplexing puzzle. This security camera footage, retrieved from a small town in India, captures what looks like a strange-looking woman with her body upside down. What's more, she appears to be moving weirdly in such a posture. The area is well known for its paranormal activity and only deepens the mystery. Was this an elaborate hoax, a piece of performance art, or something supernatural? The chilling nature of the footage leaves us with more questions than answers. What do you think of it? What this trail cam recorded is truly disturbing. One might assume that only those who risk their lives for exciting content encounter the strangest creatures, but sometimes even those going about their ordinary work activities encounter some of the strangest things, and this next clip is an example of that. In this video, two men are waist deep in a water-filled cave, working when they hear strange sounds. As the saying goes, curiosity killed the cat, but that doesn't deter them. They follow the sound to an area piled high with stones. One of them attempts to move the stones when something catches their attention. They discover a creature that resembles a deformed baby or some sort of small creature in the area blocked by the stones. The sight terrifies the man and we see him pointing in bewilderment. It's said that they bolted out of the place after they didn't want to stay and find out if the creature was dangerous or murderous. Speaking of what they saw hidden in that small cave, what do you think that strange creature is? Take a look at this intriguing image. The Pope was captured with a peculiar symbol on his robe resembling an alien. The Pope is a symbol of religious authority, so why would he have an alien-like symbol on his robe? Does it hint at the existence of these otherworldly beings? On the contrary, some suggest that the symbol might be a cultural sign from a country he visited, worn as a gesture of respect. This brings forth the possibility that the symbol holds culture. The juxtaposition of the Pope, a figure of religious importance, with a symbol resembling an alien sparks curiosity about the intention behind this choice. What are your thoughts on this mysterious symbol on the Pope's robe? Can somebody tell me what the hell that is? On a cold winter night in Albany, Kentucky, a man steps outside to feed his dog and stumbles upon mysterious prints near his home. These prints are substantial, resembling human footprints but significantly larger, suggesting a creature of considerable size and weight. Skeptics suggest the possibility of someone wearing elaborate monster shoes attempting to play a prank. On the other hand, some entertain the idea that these prints might actually belong to a truly monstrous creature. They state it might be a large bear or something more sinister. Who or what do these prints belong to? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Still on strange sky phenomena, take a look at the clouds. There appears to be a short ray of light moving about in the sky. What do you reckon it could be? Are we looking at a manifestation of atmospheric dynamics, a play of sunlight refracting through clouds, or does it carry the elusive aura of something beyond our conventional understanding? Perhaps something alien? 
I think I'll let you decide on this one. A man who is known to be a spiritualist shared this footage that left everyone talking. If you found the first witch doctor interesting, I think you will find this one interesting as well. In the footage, he was demonstrating how he controls the sea. Just watch as he beckons the waters towards him, and it does. And as he motions it to move back, it does also. Now, the big question on everyone's mind, is this the real deal or just an uncanny coincidence? Naturally, believers in the supernatural are in awe and can't help themselves. Skeptics, on the other hand, are of course skeptical about the whole thing. Personally, I doubt he has any control over the elements. What do you guys think? <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, before you go, are there clips and videos you think we should have featured by now that we haven't? Well, the good news is, you can share them with us and we'll post them crediting you. Please send any such footage, including ones you recorded yourself, to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do our thing and include it in our next episode. We can't wait to receive what you have. Share this video with someone you love. See you in the next one.